All right, what's going on guys? Moxification here. So today, I'm going to show you how you can update your dashboard from whatever dashboard update you're currently on to the latest one, which could be anything, you know. This is going to work for any dashboard update, you know, like anything in the future. Um, right now, uh, I believe the current dashboard update is actually, let me find out for you really quick. Uh, the current dashboard is 17489 that's currently right now whereas you know maybe in the future it'll be a different dashboard update i guess it will in the future and so this will work for that you know and you can follow it in the future you know you just need the latest downloads so yeah so what you want to do is you want to go to the description and there'll be some download links um or you can get them from the ninja website they're you know they're going to be on the ninja website um uh, but yeah so you want to download them you want to get flash 360 which is going to be in the description and you want to get the current xe build for the current dashboard so like i said current dashboard is 17489 but if this is in the future and you're watching this you know maybe in like a year and a couple of months and there's a new dashboard update out you'll need to get the newest xe build so yeah so what what we'll do is we'll get into it so what you want to do is you want to have a usb stick and you want to you know download the files and then you want to put your usb stick into your computer and you want to put the flash 360 folder onto the usb stick so i'm going to do that now uh there you go uh, yeah and then, oh, I've already got it on there. So you want to make sure that the actual, the whole Flash 360 folder is on it. Not like a RAW folder, like an act, the actual folder itself. And make sure that you've got the media, you've got the Flash360.xex, and you've got, you don't need the README, but, you know, uh, I just leave it in there anyway because it's helpful to, you know, you can read it, you know. So, uh, yeah, so we'll get onto it. So uh, next you want to go over to the console. So I'll see you on the console. Okay, so once you're on the console, all you want to do is go into XEX menu and make sure the USB stick is in the console. So uh, I'm going to go onto XEX menu now. And then once it's loaded up, you want to go to the USB. So the USB is USB 0. So if it, if it doesn't come up, if the USB is in the console but it doesn't come up, it just means you've got to take it out, plug it back in, and then, you know, there should be USB 0. It should automatically load up anyway, but yeah. So what you want to do is you want to go into the folder, and you simply want to launch the flash360.xex and then this should put us into a blue screen and once you're in a blue screen all you want to do is make a backup so to uh, to make a backup all you want to do is press x uh, then a and then it will do its thing it will go from zero all the way up to 100 percent you'll be able to see that you know in the bottom left and it will go through a load of steps and you know if, if you've got a big block it might take a bit longer but you know if you've got 16 mega nand it will just go pretty quick but yeah so once it's done everything's good it will say press any button to continue and then press back button to go to the uh, main menu and then press back button to exit the application so you know then it will take you back to the dashboard and then this is where you want to go over to the computer again so i'll see you on the computer okay so we're back on the computer now so what i have to say is right now if you have a corona console this step will not work for you it's gonna you know it could cause problems so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have a bit after this or it might be at the end of the video and it's gonna show how to do it for a corona so if you need you know if you've got a corona then don't do this step there's another step for you and you know I i'll tell you when i'm doing that step so you can do that if you've got a corona so this step is purely for um any you know any fat console any um uh, xenon all the way up to trinity you know that type of them that section you know um and uh yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get into this now so what you want to do is you want to go to the usb so the usb is in the computer it's into the yeah in here and you want to go into flash 360 on your usb you want to get the flash dmp.bin and you want to make a backup of the flash dmp.bin because if anything were to go wrong let's say you know you mess something up at some point then you can you know you can go back to the you know the dashboard that you were on and everything's going to be good and then you can try and do it again at a later date so you want to make sure you've got a backup of it now if you drag and drop the flash dmp.bin to the desktop it's still going to be on the usb and so it's you know that technically is a backup and so you don't really need to make a folder or anything but you know uh yeah so that's it so i'm going to minimize the uh, usb now and uh, i'm going to open up the xe build folder and all you want to do is open up the xe build so yeah run and uh, i'm going to exit out of that folder 
Uh, so next, all you want to do is uh, basically open up the flash DMP bin in this program. So to do that, all you want to do is click open and find it. Mine's on the desktop. You know, yours could be somewhere else, but mine's on the desktop. And you want to click open. And you know, it's all good. Everything's open. Everything's in. You've got a load of ticks down the bottom. Everything will be ticked apart from one, which is the CPU key. So you know, I'll tell you how to do that in a second. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that the kernel version is on the latest update. So right now the latest update is 17489 and that's the current one, the latest update. Um, but in the future it might be different, it might be, you know, something else. So pick the, the latest update which will be at the very bottom. So uh, yeah, I'm going to pick that one. And then you want to get your CPU key. So if you don't know how to get your CPU key, all you want to do is turn your JTAG or RGH off. Um, wait a few seconds and then press the eject button and then it will load up a blue screen called Zell and then all you want to do is wait about five maybe ten seconds again and then right at the bottom it will be near the bottom it won't be exactly at the bottom but it will be near the bottom you'll see CPU key and DVD key um, all you want to do is copy down the CPU key maybe on a notepad on your computer or actually write it out and you want to check that it's you know it's exact and then uh, you'll be good to go all you want to do is get that CPU key and you know put it in here so I'm gonna get my CPU key I've already got a, a notepad so yeah there you go copy and then I'll paste it in there so I'm probably gonna blur that out uh, because you don't really it's not really good if other people have your CPU key but you know it, it's in there right now my CPU key is in there right now then all you want to do is make sure that the include dash launch is ticked and you know everything else is good and then just click generate uh, generate hacked image so everything should be good everything should go through and then you know everything will be done and then it will say do you want to close the program uh, clear the log or whatever and you know you can click yes or whatever um and then uh yeah so once that's all good um you want to look for the location where your flash dmp.bin was so mine's here and it was on the desktop so in that location there'll be you know and uh, there'll be two other files there'll be a exibuild gui uh, dot log and that's just the log of you know uh, what happened and if it if it was successful or if it failed and then you've got the upd flash dot bin so what you want to do is get the upd flash dot bin you don't have to worry about the exibuild log you can delete that if you want uh, but you want to get the upd flash dot bin and put that back on the usb stick so that is here you want to put that in the folder, the same folder, the, you know, the Flash 360 folder. There you go. And it's in there now. So, yeah, now we can go back over to the console. Okay, so this step is for the Coronas. So, if you've got a Corona, you want to do this step. And if you don't have a Corona, you don't have to do this step. Just skip this step and go to the next one. But if you do have a Corona, you need to do this step instead of the previous step. So, uh, I'll get into it. So, what you want to do is open up XE Build. So, here it is. Uh, run. I'm going to XE out of that folder. Uh, so, here, what you want to do is you want to do switch to advanced mode. So, that will be at the top. It will be kind of like uh, next to tools. And then you want to do disable failsafe. So you want to make sure that both of them are done. Um, then what you want to do is open up the dump. So that is here. Um, there you go. And you'll get an error. And it's totally fine. Don't worry about it. Just click yes. And uh, once you've done that, you want to select the console. So that's the Corona. Uh, then you want to select the build type. So that's RGH 2.0. Um, for you, it might be different. Um, so if it is different for you, if you don't know, you probably want to ask the seller, whoever you bought uh, whoever you bought the console from and they'll be able to tell you and so you know select whatever one is for you um, and then you want to put the CPU key in and uh, that's it there I'll probably blur it out um, and then you want to select the kernel version so let me just move this up again uh, there you go um, and you want to select the kernel version so this is the latest one which is at 17489 uh, and you know it might be different in the future but right now that's what it is and you know it could if it's different then just select the one at the very bottom and then you'll be good to go so yep and then from here you want to go up to the misc options or miscellaneous and uh you've got the you know include dash launches ticked you've got enable semi automatic selection ticked and you've got some other stuff ticked um what you want to do is you want to do use custom xc build settings ticked and you want to have the use parameter uh, that one ticked so yeah that should be good and uh, yeah you're basically done um, you, there's just one more step um, you want to do generate hacked image and you're going to get an error this is totally fine just click yes 
and then it's going to come up with a box so in this box all you want to do is look for the bottom bar which is you've got you know text here and you've got text here at the bottom you're going to see um, no enter glitch 2 and corona after the corona you just want to do 4g and that's it so right there 4g it will be new parameter and it will be 4g so uh, that's what you want to do so it will be different from the top one at the top as you can see it's just corona and i just typed 4g right there and that's what you want to do right after it no space just right after it as once you've done that save the new parameters and then it will go for its thing and then it will be done and so all you want to do is click yes you've got the update flash stop in you've got that there and you've got the exe build log you can just delete that if you want and then you've got this here so next all you want to do is put that on your usb stick and then we'll go over to the console so uh yeah we'll do that now okay so now we're back on the console all we're going to do is plug the usb into the console and go into xcx menu and there you go xcx menu and i don't think i need to sign in i think i'm already signed into a gamer tag there you go so what you're going to do from here is, as you can see, we're already on the USB, it automatically picks up the USB. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to copy Flash 360 from the USB over to the console. So the root of the hard drive is the best place. Um, move it over to the console, so paste. And there you go. So now all you've got to do is find it, find the uh, Flash 360 on the hard drive, which is here. And then go into there, and then go into flash360.xdx and so now we're back in the program that we were in at the start so in here all you want to do is press a so that's right update flash stop being to nand uh you can press a or b here um and you know that was just uh picking one of the options about the kvs um then you've got um either a button to retest uh reset sorry um and or start button to ignore and continue so start button and then uh, a button to co uh to continue so yeah so a button to begin so now it's going to do uh zero to 100 percent and when it gets to 100 percent it's going to ask me to do the back button and then when i press the back button it's going to reset the console and when it resets the console so any button to continue and then back button to return to main menu and then back button to shut down so when i press the back button now it's going to shut down and uh you know it's going to turn back on again but before it turns back on what you want to do is you want to unplug the power uh the power brick so unplug the power brick from the back of the console so that's what i'm going to do uh once i've uh you know press shut down so i'm going to do shut down and you'll see that it does five four three two one and i'm going to stop recording okay so the console just came back on so you know we'll see now that it is on the latest dashboard update um i'm just going to wait for it to you know come up with the uh, sign into the profile section and then uh, we'll be able to see by going into the uh, system settings but yeah so it's not that difficult you know it's not that uh, hard uh, if you need uh, any download links they'll be in the description and on the ninja website and i'll leave a link to how to set up ninja in the description as well you know uh, so if you want to get on ninja then you can so uh, yeah so let me go over to the settings system and it's uh, console settings and then here it is so system info as you can see dashboard update latest dashboard update that is what it is right now in the future it might be something different but you know you you can still follow this tutorial all you'll need is a different version of the XE build for that current dashboard update so uh yeah so thanks for watching and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video uh goodbye